Let's go through several examples of L'Hopital's rule. It's a really easy one to apply, but the first thing that I've got to look for is to make sure that it does fit the condition of the rule. And that means that the limit goes to either zero over zero or infinity over infinity. With this first one, I'm approaching zero. So I want to put a zero into both of these sine functions. So I end up with a sine of zero over the sine of zero. Both of those go to zero. So I end up with a zero over zero, which is one of the indeterminate forms and L'Hopital's rule applies. So I can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. That's supposed to be an H. And as I apply L'Hopital's rule, I just take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So X approaches zero of the derivative of sine is cosine. I have a 4x inside there, so I'm going to follow that with a chain rule and put a 4 on the outside. And then in my denominator, the derivative of the sine of 2x is the cosine of 2x. Another chain rule gives me a 2 there. I can cancel and I end up with a 2 in my numerator. Let's go ahead and just do a direct substitution and put 0 in. It's defined at 0, so I end up with the cosine of 4 times 0 times a 2 on the outside divided by the cosine of 2 times 0. And the cosine of 0 goes to 1 in both cases, so I get 1 times 2 over 1, and my limit is equal to 2. In this next example, I've got the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x times the natural log of x. Now L'Hopital's rule applies to quotients only, but I can easily rewrite this as a quotient. So I'm going to take that limit as x approaches 0 from the right. I'm going to leave the natural log up in the numerator, and let's go ahead and bring the x into the denominator as an x to the negative 1 or a 1 over x. Now let's test to see if this um, applies to L'Hopital's rule. I need the natural log of zero. So as I'm approaching zero, here's the graph of the natural log. That is going to infinity in the numerator and then one over x. So as I put a zero into one over x, one over x is this, but I'm applying it from the right hand side, so I'm approaching positive infinity. So I get a negative infinity in the numerator over infinity. Now this is one of the conditions that satisfies L'Hopital's rule. Let's go ahead and apply the derivatives. So applying L'Hopital's rule, I'm going to keep that limit. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, and I'm going to take my derivative numerator and denominator separate. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over x, and then I want to take the derivative of 1 over x. Let's think of that as an x to the negative 1, and then I can apply a power rule. So I get negative x to the negative 2. I've got a little bit of algebra to do to clean this guy up. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. I get my 1 over x in the numerator. Let's write this as negative 1 over x squared. Then I can go ahead and bring up the reciprocal of the denominator to finish simplifying. So we end up with, I'm almost finished with this one, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. I have a 1 over x. Bringing up the reciprocal of the denominator, I get negative x squared, or you can think of that as negative x squared over 1. I'm going to cancel an x, and my limit is just of negative x. I can do direct substitution now and plug that 0 in. I get negative 0, which is just 0, and we've got our answer. In this next one, I already have a quotient, so I'm ready to go ahead and check to make sure that L'Hopital's applies. As I plug infinity in, this goes to e to the infinity or infinity over 2 times infinity, which also goes to infinity. So L'Hopital's rule definitely applies. Let's go ahead and take some derivatives, and I end up with the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and the derivative of 2x is 2. Now I can go ahead and apply infinity. It's no longer in indeterminate form. I do end up with e to the infinity, essentially, over 2, which is infinity divided by 2. This is not indeterminate. Our answer to this one is infinity.
In this example, we're going to look at the limit as x approaches infinity of x minus the natural log of x. Now this one in its form isn't ready for a L'Hopital's rule, but it is an indeterminate form. If I attempt to plug in infinity and take these limits, I end up with infinity minus the natural log of infinity, which gives me infinity minus infinity. This is also an indeterminate form, but I need to get a quotient in there so that we can apply by L'Hopital's rule. I'm going to get that quotient in there by dividing or factoring out an x. So I'm just manipulating this so I can get a quotient and look what I end up with. So as I do that, I get the limit still as x approaches infinity. We're going to hang on to that for a second. I really am factoring this x out. So my x comes out in front. x divided by x, those cancel and I get 1. The natural log of x divided by x can be just rewritten as the natural log of x divided by x. To make sure you've factored correctly, you can just multiply that back through. Now I can take the limit of x, that's not a problem, but I can now apply L'Hopital's rule to the natural log of x over x. Let's go ahead and pull that guy aside. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x over x. Now as I apply infinity in, this goes to infinity over infinity, which means that L'Hopital's rule applies to this piece. Let's go ahead and do that. So as I apply L'Hopital's rule, I get the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And then the derivative of x is just 1, so I end up with 1 over x. I put infinity in, and 1 divided by infinity goes to 0. This goes to 0. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. So as I'm applying infinity, the limit as x goes to infinity of x goes to infinity. In the parentheses, I get 1 minus the limit of the natural log of x over x, which goes to 0. And I end up with my answer, which is infinity. I hope this was helpful. Take a look at my next video. You guys got this. Thanks so much for watching.